Yeah. We're going to have you give me the, the tube. We'll put it in. Two yeah. state yeah. stitches. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She's got oh. it. Uh, right, both bilateral legs. Mm -hmm. Bleeding wounds control, but obviously it's not right now. Okay. Thank you. Here at the simulation center, we have several rooms that replicate the layout of a combat support hospital or field hospital. And we follow the patient movement as they would come into the treatment facility and be triaged in the uh, front area and then move either into the EMT, the ICU, or the OR. Uh, here at the Sim Center, all of these uh, rooms are surrounded, are, are surrounding a crow's nest, which is an elevated area where the technicians manipulate the uh, high fidelity mannequins that we use. They're able to alter their vital signs in response to the interventions that are uh, practiced within the rooms themselves. This is critical. But what I would also remind everybody is to try not to let some of the things in running a hospital get in the way of working on your communication piece. And that's where the teaching moment came in, which they didn't quite show that. Well, we stopped and we talked a little bit about it. We had the patient's name wrong. So through communication and the whole team paying attention, we were able to correct that because that's obviously can become a huge issue down the line. Checkbacks between the the surgeon and the CRNA, while he's explaining this two challenge, uh, uh, he's checking with the CRNA to ensure that the blood pressure is ready to continue.